Hi there, this is Digital Marketing Legend Srinidhi Ranganathan. Initially, we thought about, you know, making this kind of a thousand uh, startup ideas generator, but in fact, um, we know that, uh, that I'll be doing the thousand startup ideas very soon in the future, but right now there are a hundred startup ideas. We can go through those. Um, just seeing the success of this, I'm going to launch the next one, a big leap. Uh, from this and then move on towards uh, maybe I would do a 250 startup ideas and I would do a 500 and then do a thousand okay step by step guys okay this kind of ideas are you know coming to me on the spot that is possible to my visualization skills where I was born with a super power guys which is like kind of a visualization power I can think creatively a lot of things on the spot Okay, if you tell me to even write a novel, uh, you know, what is a, you know, if you give me the particular chapters of the particular novel, I can tell you. You would have seen my videos, right? So I can narrate to you what is on chapter six, this sentence with the punctuation I can narrate to you, right? So these are all the kind of amazing talents that I have. So I'm bringing you this amazing video. So. Yeah, that's an unwritten novel. It's not a written novel. So I can give a name to that novel and then I can narrate. But this is not a novel kind of video. This is a startup idea machine. Okay. So we'll start off with um, idea number one. You keep counting or you can keep writing. Okay. I'm not going to put these ideas in the form of a PDF or anything like that, guys. Um, so you can write down, take quickly jot down in a kind of a notebook uh, you have because your notebook is going to be completely filled. I know that. And um, we'll start, I, I'll tell you the number and then I'll tell the idea. Then I'll explain the idea. Then we'll move on to the next idea. Okay, that's how this is going to work. Idea number one. This can be an advice column app for digital marketers so that they can share their marketing campaigns okay and get responses from you know other entrepreneurs or marketers you understood guys this idea so uh, this is kind of an app okay where uh, you know digital marketers uh, will share their advice their tips and strategies and other people can respond to that and uh, they will share various aspects of the campaigns that they are working on okay so which is which has got success which has got failures which one works, which one doesn't work, why it didn't work, all this stuff they'll be able to discuss, okay? So others can give advice on, like CEOs or entrepreneurs can give advice on, um, you know, how to improve those particular campaigns. So it'll help digital marketers a lot, okay? That is idea number one. Idea number two will be um, an artificial intelligence neural network API tool that will actually scan your PowerPoint presentation and gives you a lot of you know meaningful uh, ways to improve that particular presentation that's going to be pretty good right so typically if you have a presentation and you just put it upload it to that particular AI tool, it's going to tell you like this particular image is not uh, you know correct replace the image this kind of particular uh, slide can have uh, you know say variations uh, or it can have charts it can have diagrams this particular text font may not be uh, looking good or something like that You understood my point, right? So it's a web-based AI uh, uh, You know platform that can scan your You know PowerPoint presentation and gives you a lot of ways to improve on that. That's idea number two Okay, pretty good. So let's move on to idea number three. Okay idea number three would be um, you know buying and selling websites uh, kind of app okay this will be uh, something like where you'll be able to buy websites uh, you know buy websites in the sense somebody would have created the website they would have getting a, they would have been getting a lot of traffic right so they sell that website to you uh, with the Google Adsense account for a particular price maybe say I don't know what is the price for the kind of traffic maybe thousand five thousand ten thousand dollars depending on the traffic depending on the popularity they kind of sell the website to you and you start using that particular website like kind of a gold mine it is gold mine okay and uh, you start earning from that so it's kind, kind of an investment and also the ROI will be whatever you earn from that particular website with the Google Ads or 
whatever. Uh, so you can look at that. So this is idea number three. Okay. Idea number four. This is going to be where, uh, you know, say uh, authors read aloud kind of an, um, you know, app where authors read their books, guys. Okay. To their fans. And uh, once the book is finished at the end, you can ask the author a lot of questions live. Okay, live. This is kind of an audio based app. Okay, live audio event kind of app where authors will be able to read their books. Understand, guys? And uh, then um, the fans can, uh, their fans can typically ask at the end once the book is read any kind of questions to the authors. That is idea number four. Idea number five would be, uh, uh, you know, entrepreneurs. Uh, a group of entrepreneurs uh, can launch uh, an app, okay, where, uh, you know, say um, everybody would be able to, uh, you know, create their own uh, profiles. For example, it's kind of a social networking app, but in fact, to promote themselves, okay, this is to promote themselves, typically um, where they can have their own set of photos they can have their own set of profiles and all this stuff and they can start promoting themselves uh, and what is why should end users download this app is something like the usb is something like um i'm thinking of the spot the usb would be something like the entrepreneurs would be giving free consulting so one can book a free consulting from those particular entrepreneurs or ceos or whatever founders or particular companies are so people download the app that entrepreneurs can help promote themselves uh, through their profiles on the social network, okay? Idea number six would be kind of a Chrome extension that tells how many sales are happening for a particular product, uh, be it on any kind of e-commerce platform, be it on Amazon, be it on Flipkart, be it on you know, Snapdeal or whatever. Uh, one has to see how many sales are happening for a particular product. So that is the idea for number six okay so this would help a lot of uh, people to actually figure out whether the product is selling or not <laughs> typically right guys okay so moving on idea number seven okay i'm writing uh, this uh, uh idea down some ideas are marked uh you know say uh, in uh blue uh, which i'm telling on the spot because some ideas are really cool got it guys okay very good next Idea number, okay, where was I? Yeah, idea number seven, let me just uh, think aloud. Okay, yes. So what if there are digital marketing cards that people are playing with? These are real cards, okay? So some are title SEO, some are title SEM and all this stuff, okay? What are these cards? Uh, now, all these cards are in the form of a game, okay? So these are digital marketing cards altogether. Now, what is the USP of this game is it's kind of a digital marketing game where marketers uh, play to compete against each other to see who gets the project. So there are lots of clients in this particular game and uh, they want to give their digital marketing products to certain marketers and marketers are competing with their score, SEO score, uh, SEM score, or whatever score uh, that uh, the score are the points in the game. Okay, guys. So who gets the most points? wins now to get the most points you got to answer questions in digital marketing to prove that you are a great market and you deserve the product i mean you deserve the project sorry for that matter <laughs> there was a tongue slip yeah so now we understood guys so uh you got it's like a kind of a quiz based game see how i'm thinking out loud it's kind of a quiz based game that digital marketers would have to play uh they have to get the answers right. Once they get the answers right, they get one project and they get some money there in that particular game. Uh, those money are kind of a, like a point kind of thing, which you can redeem for different gifts. Uh, the gifts are something like, um, you know, say a website or an app uh, that for themselves that they can create. So this is kind of a game. What if digital marketing is kind of a 3D game? Something like this, this can go viral, okay? That was idea number seven. Idea number eight coming up. So this can be an email, uh, you know, say app or whatever that tells how much of an email the recipient actually read. Like you understand guys. So how much in the sense like the percentage of scroll 
it has to calculate the percent of his crawl of that particular person and how much time that guy has spent in the uh, reading the email that would be kind of a cool feature right so this would help everyone to actually figure out like uh, whether the emails you're se sending uh, are actually being read and, uh, you know, whether they are relevant, whether they are really good, whether these kind of promotional mails or whether kind of these kind of educational mails are making sense for the, you know, uh, reader out there, right? That's idea number eight. Idea number nine. Okay. Um, this can be something like uh, what you call as uh, voice controls for graphic design okay so there should be an app that comes out where you can do graphic design create graphics with your voice okay for example you just say adjust the contrast by 20 percent and export the image to png it will export okay so something like you can say cut this crop this uh or change the color to this or whatever so this will help to actually uh uh this kind of a voice based graphic design app it'll, it'll help them to ease uh the stuff to do things manually right so for designers i'm talking about okay that would help a lot so that was idea number nine idea number 10 would be something like what do you call as um a bot uh a ai bot uh, uh which designs a funnel automatically what is a funnel it's like kind of a meaningful set of, you know, say uh, pages or whatever you call it that takes one uh, person from being a user to a customer. So this should design funnels automatically and we should be able to duplicate these kind of funnels a uh, hundred times. That means, for example, if I create a funnel, okay, I don't have to go manually to uh, edit the funnel uh, what you call the text? I don't have to go to the page and edit the text, drag and drop, and all this stuff. What I'm talking about is there should be a place just to edit the text. Okay, there should be some text boxes, like say five to ten text boxes, where you just input the text and then you create the funnel. Now, when you duplicate the funnel hundred times, you can just go to that particular second funnel or third funnel or whatever you want and just edit the text in the text boxes by not going inside the funnel page. You understand my point, right? You just edit the text in the text boxes and that'll be a new funnel for you. So again, funnel three, you got to edit the text in the text boxes. That'll be a new funnel for you. You understood guys how it's, how it's, how it's working. So you can just edit the text and it'll create the design. It'll create the funnel autonomously. Okay. So for different pages of a particular funnel, you can just edit the text the same way that you edit the text for the home page of the funnel. So this is like kind of a funnel bot that automatically autonomously creates funnels in minutes. Okay, that was idea number 10 for you. Idea number 11 is kind of a subscription based business services. Okay, so this is like kind of a subscription box kind of thing where businesses can subscribe to you for digital marketing or whatever services that you're providing maybe graphic design uh services uh this is like unlimited digital marketing and unlimited graphic design or you know say um uh, say unlimited seo or unlimited video making or something like that and you charge the customer whatever rate you want and do unlimited services for them like every day you say you work from say uh, this particular time to the particular time there'll be this many team members so the subscription will be based on number of team members working for that particular project, number of experts working for the particular project. Say you have one team member to work on this particular project, then you'll be charging this much for this particular service. If you have five team members to work on this project, you'll be charging this much for this particular service, something like that, guys. A subscription-based business, which is also kind of a service uh, stuff itself, okay? That isn't that pretty cool, okay? So we looked at idea number 11. Now let's move on to idea number 12. Okay, idea number 12 is kind of, um, you know, say um, a voice based, a voice based, uh, you know, say um, training app. Okay, so it's like kind of a walkie talkie kind of training app. Okay, so one person at one end, uh, you know, 
talks about something uh which is you know that guy is a teacher or something he he converts uh, he, he's you know having a conversation with uh, a student uh it's like a socrates kind of thing so you understood guys one person has a question one person answers okay one person tells this topic then one person asks a question one person answers it's like kind of a group uh you know q and a uh, kind of app which is on the live uh spot uh, they can you know what do you call it? Uh, I get questions answered, ask questions, get questions answered, etc., etc. Now, the best part of this app and how it is, what is the USB is, the audio, what they'll talk will be converted to text autonomously and it'll be 99.9% .9 accurate. So the transcription will be provided there on the app. So whatever that guy, uh, you know, the teacher is speaking will be, uh, you know, having like some kind of a subtitles kind of thing on the other end. Okay. So it'll be pretty cool, guys, that kind of thing okay now that was idea number 12 now idea number 13 is something like uh, this is this can change the world so imagine uh, there's a speech that's going on okay and uh, there's a speaker who's speaking uh, you know about something now what if whatever the speaker is speaking can be converted to video format into stock footage and shown on the screen right there you understood guys so this kind of idea is whatever you speak will be converted to stock footage. Uh, so maybe you speak about space, there'll be a kind of a space video that is going on there. Maybe you speak about a kangaroo or a kangaroo or whatever you call it. Uh, or maybe you speak about an elephant. <laughs> um, an elephant uh, image would show up there. Okay. Maybe you speak about uh, the road, a road kind of image. Uh, would be show up, show up over there. So you understood this, guys. So this is like speech to video, autonomously on the spot. Okay, it'll be shown over there. That was idea number thirteen. Idea number fourteen is something like um, you know, uh, something like what you call as um, an app where you enter a show you want to watch, and it tells you what streaming service it it is there for that particular show so suppose you have some movie or something you want to watch okay so you put that particular movie in that particular app and it's going to show you where all is streaming maybe streaming on amazon prime video it's going to stream on netflix it's going to stream on uh hook or you know it's going to stream on hotstar or wherever it'll tell you where it is uh streaming okay and uh that's kind of a uh, thing where you can just go there and you can uh you know watch that particular movie okay or tv show 15 idea number 15 this is a kind of a social network that pays you to be online okay very good guys so you have to be in the social network you should be consistently posting engaging and once you do that you get paid on the spot so say you put a post you get paid you like someone's post you you get paid you put a video you get paid the the points will be collected at the top and then you cash out simple as that so you 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 uh, friend someone you get paid so this is like a social network that pays you autonomously uh and uh, you have ads uh, you see ads you get paid right so all that stuff right so this is the kind of a uh, idea right let's move on idea number 16. this is like kind of a website for designers and developers to collaborate with each other for partnership so this website will have will have designers at one end and developers at one end uh, they can both pitch their projects and uh, you know they can both partner with one another okay guys so there'll be a separate section for uh, designers there'll be a separate section for developers okay so that's how it is so one can find uh, 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 if you're a designer, you find a developer, if you're a developer, you find a designer, and then you pitch your products accordingly. You understood, guys? So that is uh, idea number 16. Idea number 17 is something like uh, what do you call as um, uh, it's kind of a, uh, you know, say app that talks about, you know, a lot of startup ideas that you can generate on the spot. Okay. So, for example, uh, like how I'm speaking here, right? So, 
it will only generate an idea it will only talk about that idea like how i am speaking with the power of artificial intelligence that is idea you understood guys so it's like a robot that talks to you about an idea that it, it itself generated and it itself uh, what you call talks about that particular idea that is idea number 17 idea number 18 is something like um, what you call as um, uh, it's kind of a browser uh, plugin or app that records your screen 24 bar 7 without human intervention so uh, and it saves the, all that in the cloud like say google drive or dropbox or whatever it records your screen 24 bar 7 okay so that uh, you, you it, it saves everything in the cloud so you can go back to that particular time that you want in the app and then export that video if you want or you can if you want the entire video of 24 hours you can just go there to the uh, drive app and extra ex, ex, export that particular video so it's like a 24 bar 7 screen recorder isn't that amazing 19 idea number 19 is something like uh what do you call it as um uh it converts a url to a screen recording a screencast in minutes so you just put in url say you put first okay i dot in or whatever url google dot uh, uh com or whatever url that you put what it does is you put Amazon, you put Flipkart, whatever URL that you put, it converts a particular URL to a screen recording, like a human simulated screen recording in minutes uh, with the mouse cursor moving and all this stuff. So autonomously it converts, right? That is amazing. So that is kind of an app, which uh, is kind of an idea that I have right now on the spot. Idea number 20. Idea number 20. World's first, um, something like After Effects in the cloud. Okay, so you just have to, uh, import a, a After Effects project uh, in the cloud and then edit the text or whatever it is that you can and it autonomously renders in the cloud and gives you uh, you don't have to use any of your hardware this one uh, what do you call a GPU or a, and something to render the video so it's like a cloud based After Effects that doesn't utilize your CPU I mean sorry your GPU <laughs> your graphic card uh, whatever your speed uh, uh, whatever your computer is there uh, or the computer requirements or whatever you call it that it doesn't affect that everything is in the cloud okay idea number 21 coming up it's like a smart TV that it recognizes that your kids are watching too close to the television and turns itself off how is that so your, your kids are sitting close to the tele particular television and they're watching the TV too close. It turns itself off. Okay, that is idea number 21. Idea number 22 coming up is something like, um, yeah, it's kind of an app where a random song would play, guys. A random song that matches the amount of time it will it will take for you to get home. Okay, it'll take for you to get home. Okay, it's like a random song that will play to matches matches the amount of time where it'll take for you to get home. Say you're going home in say twenty minutes, it will match that particular uh, time and play a random song in that uh, to fit that duration. Okay, that was idea number twenty two. Okay, idea number twenty three is like kind of an app where um, it tells you what kind of posts you need to actually do on LinkedIn, Instagram, or Facebook in order to go viral. So these are the type of posts that you need to do. So if it suggests some kind of an app based on previous posts that went viral, it takes certain attributes of it and tells us that these are the kind of posts you need to do in order to uh, go viral. You need to use these kind of hashtags. You need to uh, work on these kind of topics, right? So this would be pretty good. Okay, so that was idea number 23. Idea number 24 is something like an app that where you say um, you ask that particular app like say you need to uh, convert this kind of speech into sign language. It will convert that speech into sign language uh, autonomously using neural networks. So uh, it, it, it can use the power of virtual humans that can convert speech into sign language. Okay, that should be pretty good. So uh, at, at the end of the day, you'll get a video which 
has a person using sign language and all that stuff from your speech that that video has been automatically converted okay so that was idea number 24 idea number 25 is something like you know recovery from your recycle bin uh, which also compresses your trash allowing you to have more space to fill in that means it's like kind of a recycle bin kind of app or an existing recycle bin where you move things right so it can be on a mac it can be on a windows right trash or whatever so it's like kind of a recycling bin that compresses the trash it compresses the files so it allows more space to fill that recycle bin in order to empty the trash something like that okay <laughs> kind of a jovial idea but whatever you understood the point it compresses the file when you put in the recycle bin that's idea okay so this would again save you a lot of time uh, sorry uh, save you a lot of space in fact anyways you're going to delete that file but what if you compress and keep it maybe you need some files uh, uh, you need to recover certain files you accidentally deleted it uh, something like that okay whatever okay then kind of a um, uh, news based app that delivers only positive news this is pretty good idea number 26 a news based app that delivers only positive news no negative news at all okay idea number uh, what do you call as 27 is like kind of a sub stack for audio based podcasts so you just upload a podcast and then you lock certain uh, you know podcast uh, audio episodes or whatever and people pay to unlock that particular episode so it's not all free podcasts it's a mixture of free plus premium which is premium podcast some episodes are free some episodes are paid so this is like a sub stack for podcasts that was idea number 27 let's move on to idea number 28 jot it down whatever ideas are very good just jot it down Okay, these this these kind of ideas may change the entire facet, definitely, right? So very good. Okay, this particular idea, this particular idea is something like I'm feeling lucky kind of idea. So maybe you're playing a game, a 3D game, a racing game. This is kind of a racing game where you just click on I'm feeling lucky and it drives you to a random location whatever kind of racing game you're playing in okay that's the idea here which is idea number 28 so it's a racing game that drives you to a random location idea idea number 29 an app that would read newsletters for you automatically i mean the trending news uh, newsletters automatically it reads out for you uh, maybe your your dry uh, maybe your maybe your actually um you know outside or maybe you're driving you put on the radio maybe you you're going in a bus on a bus or you're you're at work you are at a different place you just turn it on the app and read to the breaking news autonomously without human intervention that was idea number twenty nine so this will save you a lot of time right so in fact uh, yeah. Item 30. 30 is saying like um, this kind of 30th idea. This one. Um, let me think. On the spot thinking. Let me think, 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 think. Okay. This is like kind of an unsend message option. That means whatever message you sent across, right? What if you could unsend a um, sent message? Like maybe for iMessage or something like that this can be an idea not on whatsapp and all this i'm talking about sms kind of messages uh like iMessage or something like that so even those might be helpful for you an unsend message option that was idea number 30. idea number 31 okay let me think on this spot. it's like kind of a virtual reality game that teaches you magic how to do magic that's pretty good right a VR game that teaches you how to do magic and then the same VR game where you perform your magic show live. Uh, so it's like a magic show live performance video game. Uh, I mean VR game that uh, 
you can also play the magician and you earn money through that. That's also pretty good by by uh, by actually ticketing your magic shows. So they pay you for the event, right? The tickets you can collect. That was idea number thirty one. Thirty two idea number thirty two. So it's kind of an app which you take a picture of your food and it tells you how many calories are in it. <laughs> how was that idea? Amazing, right? So that's pretty good. So that's idea number thirty two. Idea number. 33 is something like maybe guys if I got any number wrong let me know uh, like I'm counting right now so maybe I make may I make I may make mistakes in the future like I may tell a particular number wrong that's fine but I'm, I hope I'm conveying all the ideas anyways okay okay so this is like um, yeah yeah idea, idea number 33 so this is like a kind of um, what do you call as um, thinking the spot coming up? Yeah, a video conferencing software that automatically mutes the person who is eating on an open microphone. That means if you have something you're eating, like a chips packet or something like that, it mutes uh, you. <laughs> How's that idea? Right, okay, oh, pretty cool. Idea number 34 again, a video conferencing solution which can automatically help in translation. For example, if uh, I, 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 I'm speaking a different language and that person on the screen is speaking a different language, I can just change the language there in that video conferencing software and you will speak, uh, whatever you're speaking will be automatically, you know, uh, you know, translated to me in that particular language. I may get a different voice of a robot, but whatever you're speaking will be automatically live translation will happen. That's pretty cool, right? That's idea number 34. Idea number 35 is something like another video conferencing software or an app, okay, where, where you can actually move in 3D, in 3D actually, in 3D like you are part of a character, uh, a 3D character, you're moving and the others also are moving uh, in virtual 3D open spatial environment, so like a 3D game kind of thing. Okay, it's like a real classroom simulation or a conference room simulation. That might be pretty cool, right? So, so you can pick the chalk or pick the mic, and you can start. Uh, you know, using your webcam, you can operate that particular character's face movements, and uh, using the arrow keys, you can operate the character's walking movements or sitting. Uh, you can make him sit, you can make him walk, you can make him run or whatever movements, right? So pretty cool. That was idea number 35. Idea number 36 is, uh, it's like an app where people can vote on what to eat for dinner for the week. Simple as that. So, so you can, it's like kind of a, for taste buds kind of thing, right? So, so what are, what are people eating? What do you want to have for dinner? You can oat pretty much. That was idea number 36. Idea number 37 coming up. What if you can actually, you know, check how busy a place is before going, like inside a place. So like Google Maps will show you the traffic, right? So what if you can actually check the traffic for inside a shop or something like that? That might be a pretty cool idea, right? So. Suppose you're going to a coffee shop or suppose you're going to a, going to a mall or whatever. You can check how many people are there, right? So that's pretty cool. Idea number 38. What if you can convert your Apple music playlist or YouTube music playlist? <laughs> Wasn't that cool? That was a music video playlist, in fact, yeah. Idea number 38, that was. Idea number 39. Um... This is like a social network for only celebrities and if fans want to actually join the chat, they need to pay a lot of money. So this is like a social network for celebrities and celebrities only. 40, idea number 40 coming up. Um, this is like a, a podcast app that can replace people's voices with someone else uh, with famous voices that you need. So suppose 
you have a podcast app where a person is speaking, it can actually replace the person's voice with any voice that you want from a famous uh, movie or a famous character or something like that. You can replace people's voices in that particular podcast app. That is an idea of number 40. Idea number 41 uh, is something like replace people's faces in a video. So you might have seen certain viral videos happening there and here and then, but I'm talking about replacing not one person's face, but many person's faces in a movie or maybe in, in, in a music video or something like that. So you can have different characters uh, in place of the actual characters. That was idea number 41. And then number 42 is something like, um, it should be something like uh, a music box. Okay, it's, it's kind of a music box that that actually plays music to artificial intelligence generated ones. Okay, so it's it, it continuously keeps creating new music. It should have say 100 styles of music that we are to import. Once we import the 100 styles of music, it creates unique music every minute for the rest of your life. That's how that idea number 42 is. It's like kind of a music box, right? Yeah. Idea number 43 is something like, uh, what do you call it as, um, uh, what do you call as, um, unfollow suggestions coming in. So what if social network offers these are people to unfollow, okay? Or kind of an app that integrates with a particular social network that says, these are the people you had unfollow to increase your engagement, something like that, that might be cool. Idea number 44. Uh, time zone uh, in uh, Telegram or WhatsApp or whatever it is might be pretty cool. So it will tell you whether the person is asleep or whatever, or the person you're messaging from a different time zone, it might tell you, right? That might help you, right? So that was idea number 44. Time zone, remember that. Idea number 45 is something like face kind of app. So that's like, a facial, you know, say, um, makeup kind of app, but for your pets. Makeup for your pets, something like that. That was idea number 45. So that, that looked good, right? Idea number 46 is, you enter your skills. It's a kind of an app. You enter your skills, enter your certifications, enter whatever, whatever things you're familiar with, like the tools and the software, and it automatically creates a resume. So that was idea number 46 for you. So this will help you to, you know, use AI to the fullest maximum potential. Idea number 47. It's like, uh, what do you call as, um, a software that tells you how many times a link has been shared before you actually shared it. Before you share it, it tells you how many times it's been shared on social media. So 47. 48. A meetup app kind of thing to find people to play board games online. Board games like chess or carom or whatever it is. Like 3D digital games online. That might be good. Then idea number 49 would be to actually have a filter on YouTube and different social networks like Vimeo or whatever. So that you can categorize according to only reaction videos from the search results. These are reaction videos kind of thing, right? So that might be pretty cool. Idea number 49 that was. Idea number 50 is something like, um, okay, let me think of the spot coming up, coming up. Okay. Yes, virtual 3D co-working spaces. It's like a spatial co-working space where you have Whatever co-working space is offering you in real life, it offers you digitally. Digital, virtual, 3D co-working space. Okay? Get ready for the virtual coffee out there. And get ready for that virtual dinner. <laughs> that was idea number 50. So, we have come to the intermission part. So, 50 ideas have been conveyed to you. Think how all any kind of ideas were useful or what, what are the kind of useful ideas you got how you can implement even one idea you implement from this would be amazing. Okay, let's move on right now.
from 50 and reach to 100 on the spot coming up 51 idea number idea number 51 coming up what if we have a smoke detector in mobile phones that might be pretty cool right <laughs> that was idea number 51 idea number 52 coming up something like it's like kind of um, iOS app that imitates a Bluetooth mouse okay using the phone's camera to track a surface okay so it imitates a bluetooth mouse that uses the phone's camera in order to track a surface that was idea number 52 idea number 53 is something like uh what do you call it as um it's something like um an alarm clock an alarm clock that has a hand tied to it that slaps you awake if you hit snooze more than once. It's like kind of a hand, uh, like a virtual hand. Uh, it's a real hand uh, made up of, uh, uh, you know, say uh, some kind of material, kind of a real hand, okay, not a real hand, in fact. <laughs> so it slaps you awake if you hit snooze more than once. That's pretty cool, right? So 54, it's like those scary movies, Annabelle, Isabel. Whatever bell, <laughs> Chucky's here. Fifty-four. I did number fifty-four. An app where, yeah, have you seen that movie called Chucky? Uh, that's amazing. That's a doll, and it 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 just goes ahead and scares people out of. Anyways, fifty-four idea. Number fifty-four. An app where you can, um, share. Uh, people can share their ideas, and investors can read them and reach out to. What do you call us? Potentially do businesses. You can. You see the concept is going somewhere. Okay. So it's like and I people people can share their ideas in the app and investors can read them and reach out to them. Uh, so it's like business at the end of the day. That was idea number 54. Idea number 55. Something like in April 1st, on April 1st of every year. Every kind of social network should make the default font to Comic Sans for that particular day. <laughs> Pretty good. That was 55 idea. 56 coming up. Um, something like an app where you tap a button to indicate you're hungry. Okay. And just you have to click you're hungry. Your other friends also open the app and know which of the other friends are also hungry. Okay, so it's like people, the hunger app or whatever you call it. That's 56 for you. 57. So what if, you know, Facebook videos or kind of YouTube videos might adjust the algorithm so that at night when you're watching, the weirder your recommended videos become. It's pretty good. That was idea number 57 for you. Idea number 58. Is something like what do you call it as um, dark mode for every single web page in the world and for every single app in the world dark mode for your mobile phones oh my god dark mode 58 that was 59th idea will come to that a virtual reality Pinterest where you can walk through different color schemes interactive uh, interactive Posts, etc. VR for Pinterest is idea number 59. Idea number 60. Okay. There's something like uh, it's an app for travelers where you click a city and a community would recommend kind of things you need to try, such as restaurants, places to visit, any kind of secret spot, and also show you the entire tour in in kind of uh, virtual reality okay so you can it's like kind of that for oculus and all it might work out okay so that might be pretty good idea number 61 is something like uh what do you call it as an app okay kind of an app okay that replaces low quality images on everywhere in the world with high quality images automatically it's kind of an app or an extension actually it's like kind of an extension it can't be an app yeah, app also it can be whatever, uh, but it's kind of an extension that replaces low quality images with high quality images on the spot. Okay, that's how it works. 
Item number 62. Okay. So it's like kind of an app where it scans your music library and tells you what uh, the artists that you listen to, what are their upcoming songs and when it's going to be released. Isn't that cool? That was idea number 62. Idea number 63. Something like a smart shirt that has a TV in it. And that's amazing, right? <laughs> it has TV in it. It's like a shirt that has a TV in it and you can play any channel. That was idea number 63. Idea number 64, a smart shirt that has, uh, you know, say, that keeps on changing color that you can change and it has LED lights coming on the smart shirt. Uh, you can have any text to play and people will go mad when you go. They'll go insane when you actually go to the road and people are going to take selfies with you. That was idea number 64. Idea number 65 is something like a color picker for fonts. A color picker for fonts. That's pretty cool, right? So it, you can pick the color anywhere that you want for the particular font you're using and see which matches. It's like a, a kind of an AI font generator too that tells you this is the kind of font you need to use for this particular page or website or whatever. That was item 65. Idea number 66. Something like um, something like a virtual 3D supermarket or mall where people can walk in, they can scan their faces, it'll turn into a 3D character, then you walk into the mall and buy products of every store that you can. It's like a real mall but a virtual 3D mall. And then you can have ad spaces. You Imagine you're the owner of the mall. You can have ad spaces on every everywhere you can have. And it's like kind of people can go there, have a virtual coffee hangout in 3D. Kind of a virtual mall is amazing, right? That's idea number 66. Idea number 67 is something like um, skateboards with built-in GPS functionality. Isn't that cool? Skateboarding with built-in GPS functionality. Idea number 68 is flying skateboards. It may take a little time for that to come up, but flying skateboards. So that levit levitation or whatever you call it, those kind of skateboards. The, uh, so now if you ask me how will, how will it work now, you don't have to skate in that particular time. You can just adjust the, you know, directions. You can have a remote control and you can fly anywhere that you want through the skateboard. It's like a broomstick, uh, like a, you've just seen those movies where a witch would sit on a broomstick and it'll go like this, right? I mean, in this, into the sky. Something like that for the skateboard also. Okay. I think I got it. Idea number uh, 69, I think. Let's move on there. I remember 68 or 69, I forgot. If I miss something, don't worry, guys. Let's move on. Because ideas should not be wasted. Idea number 69. Instagram should allow voice commands. That will be pretty cool. If it allows voice commands, it will be pretty cool, right? That was idea number 69. Idea number 70. Okay. Iced, iced coffee delivery service. 24-7. <laughs> it's not like, oh my god, iced coffee coming up. Idea number 70. That was idea number 71. A cloud-based Adobe illustrator or photoshop that people can work on in a cloud okay they don't need to install any kind of software so what if adobe goes completely uh, like something like spark post for the cloud guys spark post is a soft it's a, it's a cloud-based tool where people can do graphic design and all right so like that adobe what if illustrator or photoshop comes to the cloud altogether no need for installing any software maybe in the future it may come that's 71 idea for you 72nd idea coming up 72nd a Gmail folder that if you add any emails, it will automatically unsubscribe for you. Oh my god, that's pretty cool. So it's like kind of a Gmail folder where you just move the particular uh, emails to the particular folder and it unsubscribes for you autonomously. That's pretty cool, right? That was idea number 72, idea number 73 coming up. Okay. Okay. So. An alarm clock that switches your lights on so you can't fall back asleep. That's pretty cool. So it's like kind of an alarm clock that switches your lights on. So the light, the alarm, everything is connected. IoT, guys, Internet of Things. 73 idea, you saw that. 74. Okay. A smart microwave that knows how to beep quietly when you use it at 2 a.m. So that means it's like a night mode for microwaves. Idea number 75, something like Google Glass, okay, that can subtitle everything 
for those who have trouble hearing. That's pretty cool, right? Google Glasses that can subtitle everything for those who have trouble hearing is a very good concept. Right, guys? That was idea number 75. Idea number 76 coming up. It's like um, an app for people in long distance relationships where they can watch movies together and TV shows together. That's pretty cool, right? So that was idea number 76. 77 is like uh, a website on our app that summarizes massive amounts of text. It's like kind of, it's not an app actually, it can be a Chrome extension. So whenever you turn that on, it summarizes all the text that you see on the screen. If there's a lot of text, it summarizes it in a meaningful manner before loading the page. That was idea number 77 for you. Idea number 78. Okay, restaurant for pets. Pretty good. That was idea number 78 for you. Idea number 79. It's something like waterproof books. <laughs> okay, waterproof books. Item number 80 is something which I've already told uh, people and my dear friend Simon Oach. The idea number 80 is something like a printer that prints unlimited pages. So it's like kind of a printer. I don't know what kind of printer it is, but it has unlimited ink kind of thing. I don't know what kind of printer, what kind of the technology that you can use for that, but it's like unlimited ink. It can print, 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 and keep on printing. Those idea number 80. So a lot of paper, by the way. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> you understood in the other sense. Am I, but you understood, guys. If that is there, imagine the kind of thing, what, what, what would happen, right? So people will start printing and all. I don't know. That's an idea. Uh, if you take it the other way around, it's the other way around. Idea number 81 now. An app that would notify you when you're near something of historical significance. Pretty good. Pretty good. That was 81. 82 coming up. Idea number 82. It's like a smart shoe. Okay. That, that, that contains an, a small LED. It's a waterproof shoe that contains a small LED, what it call screen in it. The place a dancing video as you walk. <laughs> you understand, guys? It can be for anyone, adults, children, whatever. Idea number 83. Okay, 83 is the idea. Yeah, I'll tell you. An app that lets people on the same flight swap seats to sit with friends for free. That was idea number 83. Idea number... 84 is something like See, you know how to clear your browser history, right? What if there is an option to fill the history with normal websites? Okay, like you understood my point, right? So fill the history with normal kind of websites like Facebook, Amazon or whatever. So idea number 85. Idea number, sorry, that was idea number 84, was it? Yeah, whatever. If I if I mistake if I mistakenly told the numbers leave it it's just the idea that counts but anyways idea number eighty five coming up so that was idea number eighty four I think the previous one okay cool idea number eighty five an option to choose to listen to an audio book or jokes while on hold can you believe it so while you're speaking to a particular person you can you have an option to listen to a joke or an audio book isn't that funny. Item number 86, a robot caller that calls, the, that, that sounds so real, that calls people autonomously to market your services or your business. That was item number 86. Item number 87 coming up. Okay, let me think, let me think. Something that might come up really good. Okay. It's like a smart mirror that would allow you to try on clothes uh, without actually wearing the cloth. Okay, you understood, guys? It's like a smart mirror that, 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 that's on everybody's household, everyone's household, where you just, you know, try it on. The, uh, or it can be even in shops, okay? It can be in shops also. So it's like a try-on kind of thing without actually wearing that particular cloth. Same thing applies for even jewelry in idea number 88. A try on virtual jewelry 
where you try how the necklace looks good for you or how that ring looks good for you. Uh, so in the mirror, I'll show you, you your hand with that particular ring, your finger with that particular ring, how you're wearing it. But in fact, you're not actually wore that ring. You understood guys how it's, uh, how it's all uh, amazingly amazing? That was idea number 88. Idea number 89. It's like kind of a password generator for Chrome extension. So, I mean, sorry, a password generator that generates password autonomously. It's a kind of an extension, guys. Okay. So, it generates password for you autonomously. And once it's generated, you, you can, you know, remove that particular extension. Right. So, you understood my point, right? So, it generates pa passwords. Secure passwords. That was idea number 89. Idea number 90 is something like, um what do you call it as um it's like an app to find the closest drinking water you understood guys so people who are struggling to find drinking water they can find where where the actual drinking water is it's very close or it's not you can find out that was idea number 90. so coming to idea number 91 just give me a minute, I'm just thinking, yeah. I remember 91 is kind of a virtual city where people can actually live in. They can live in that particular virtual city, they can buy cars, they can marry, they can they can walk, they can, they can hire people. It's like a virtual city for work and for enjoyment so it's like kind of a 3d virtual city that does everything that you do in real life kind of in virtual reality or virtually whatever 92 idea coming up what if monday was renamed to fun day in that particular app okay monday to fun day so it's kind of an app where it's kind of a fun day or some kind of an app where you open that particular app and it tells you what all good things you can do on a monday what's the app 92 93 so it's so that you understood the process, right? So, okay. Item number 93, a foldable office. So, it, 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 it's like kind of a space where you can, it, you can just have an office anywhere, typically. So, it's like kind of like a booth, a foldable office booth kind of thing, where it's soundproof in, on the inside and all the stuff and you can work on it. It's, it's so many good things are there. It's like a foldable soundproof office. It's item number 93. Idea number 94. Something like kind of a theater, like like Netflix that plays all the exclusive Netflix movies. It's like kind of a Netflix coming into the theater industry. So idea number ninety four. Idea number ninety five is something like um, what do you call as separate buttons for opening selfie camera and forward camera. That might be amazing. That was idea number ninety five. Idea number ninety six. Something like. Glitter tattoo ink that might be pretty cool. So you can design your tattoos through that particular app and then you can take it to the tattoo guy and he creates a glitter, glitter tattoo for you for you using that particular ink or whatever. <laughs> no, no, much about tattoos, anyways. Now, idea number 97. So, what I told in the previous idea was you can design the tattoo yourself and then you can give it to the person and be like. He, he does a glitter kind of chatter for you. I number 97, change the singer in a particular song. So this app can actually change the singer. Have the music exact intact, but change the, change the singer's voice. Whatever singer of your choice you want. Okay. That was idea number 97. Idea number 98. Uh, there's something like... Um, what do you call it? Uh, just thinking out loud, coming to the last steps, uh, you know, give me the creeps. <laughs> so, coming up. It's like a kind of an, what do you call it? Uh, um, an option where you can schedule, you know, all your social media accounts. It connects to every social media account out there. And you can schedule posts, videos. You can schedule whatever you want, but at the same time, you can also advertise on using those apps 
for your social media from the same place okay so apart from that what is the kind of a usp i'm going to talk to you about is here apart from scheduling feature and advertising features it will tell you the best time the engagement time that you need to post based on previous you know say interactions with your audience etc it'll tell you the best times that you need to post to get the right results and the best usb is it only gives you the kind of uh, uh, post ideas that you can post on those particular channels it will only give you the post idea it will only tell you when you are to post it will only tell you it will only post and uh, it will track who all have posted i mean who all have engaged with right uh, your particular post it will also track that particular thing so these all it will do idea number 99 out there is something like a cookbook loaded with recipes which you can eat but it's not an ordinary cookbook it is a kind of a digital and reality mix cookbook that means it's like kind of a virtual so it's like it's a book but it has it can play videos it can it can it can play audios and videos uh you understood my point it's like kind of a youtube video in a real book that is playing you understood what i'm talking about right this kind of a new technology where the digital and the physical world merges together okay so it's like you just open the book it, it, oh my god it, it has a video that plays it has audio that plays how is this ever possible you got to think about it i'm just giving you the idea okay it's like a it's like a cookbook <laughs> that where it's amazing right so that is that idea over there so 100th idea is what if that cookbook idea can be taken further and we can have, uh, you know, a kind of the real magical book which can actually have videos, audios in it and have stories and novels in the same format so people can read the novel, they can listen to the novel, they can see the video of that particular stuff happening in that particular page. In that particular physical book itself understand the physical and digital world merge together okay this is the kind of thing which people can never forget ever ever again so those were the hundred ideas that i've conveyed today some ideas were really good you might feel some ideas were incredible you might feel some ideas are dumb you can feel some ideas don't make sense some ideas are really bad you can feel some ideas are really fantastic you can feel whatever you feel about it these are just ideas you can just implement these ideas to the core if you want. Pick any one idea, implement it, start implementing, create something for that. Have a budget, um, market it to um, clients once you create it. Have a launch page uh, once you create it and take it to further new heights of success. It was quite a long time uh, that I've done such uh, you know idea sessions with my fans. Took a lot of effort, uh, you know, to... Uh, make me to actually do this there are a lot of motivation coming in from my fans and friends to do this particular one but on the spot it is not easy guys on the spot if i have to tell a lot of ideas it is not at all easy it takes a lot of um you know say thoughts process ideas it, it takes talent to do this thank you this is digital marketing legend Trinity the king of digital marketing signing up bye-bye for now hope you enjoyed this